Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dom Lovely. I am your source for all celebrity entertainment news and all points of view. So you guys, just as we see Wendy moving on with life and regaining her strength, gathering herself, and moving into her new place, apart from the marital home that she once shared with husband Kelvin Hunter, Radar Online is reporting that Wendy Williams is having the hardest time removing some of her property from the old house to her now lavish penthouse. Well, apparently a fight erupted between Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter over what items she could take out of the home and what items needed to remain there because you guys know that she has been moving her things out of the house little by little to her new place. Well, the cops did respond to the home because Kevin Hunter called the police after the moving truck showed up and obviously was upset that Wendy was making good on her promise to actually leave him. But not only that, Kevin demanded the items Wendy was removing from the home be left alone. He is also demanding that the moving company vacate the premise as he does not want them on his property and to continuously keep them off of the property, out of the driveway. He does not want them anywhere on the property while she tries to move out. Now there is a police report proving all of this and I have actually placed the link in the description box for you guys to take a look at that. Radar Online has validated the report and it is there. So Radar is reporting that thanks to a good friend of Wendy Williams being there to assist her along with the police, she and Kevin were able to come to some sort of verbal agreement where Wendy would only remove her personal belongings to include shoes, clothes, personal paintings, and spare bedroom furnishings. You know what guys, in my opinion, Wendy needs to stop with all these verbal agreements with Kevin Hunter. Everything needs to be in writing, but you know, that's just my opinion. Now she and Kevin came to an agreement that the remaining furnishings would be undisturbed. So the police report also confirms that Kevin Jr. was there during the entire moving disturbance and that he was fully involved in the conversation relating to the removal of the property. However, we do not know whose side he was on in terms of leaving the property at the home or if Wendy should be allowed to take what is hers. Now, it would seem like Kevin would not be giving Wendy any problems and would just leave her alone as she comes to the home and collect whatever it is that she needs. However, the police re report confirms that he continues to be a headache and actually calls the police on her as she tries to remove the things that are personal to her and more than likely would make her new place a more comfortable place for her to live, being the situation is what it is. You know, one has to really wonder why does he even care so much about furnishings that she removes from the home? Does he not have a home for him and Sharina? So, you know, it's very odd that he would try to give Wendy a hard time at every turn, even as she tries to move on. And unfortunately, you know, their son had to get involved and help police make sense of all of this mess. I said it before and I will say it again, this divorce from Kevin Hunter, unfortunately for Wendy, will not be an easy one, you guys. Um, you all get down in the comments and let me know legally. Is she allowed to take furnishings and other personal items from the marital home at this point? Or is she required to leave everything intact until after the divorce is final? Because I'm really not sure, to be honest with you. Especially if infidelity is a major part of the demise of this marriage. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and click that notification bell. And we will chat again soon. Bye.